I'm Nate with OpenEye Technical Support, and the question is, what is DDNS and how do I configure it on my E-Series DVR? Dynamic Domain Name System, or DDNS, is a service that provides a static address to simplify remote connection to the DVR. This service is most useful for installations where the public IP address dynamically changes from time to time. Most public IP addresses are periodically changed unless a static address has been specifically requested from the Internet Service Provider. Without DDNS, the only options are to purchase a static IP address or manually update the new IP address whenever it changes. To enable DDNS on E-Series DVRs, first press the Setup button on the front panel of the DVR or the remote control. Once in Setup, scroll over to Network and press Enter. In Network Setup, first configure the network settings as needed. More information on network configuration can be located in the manual on the FAQ site or in the Network Setup video tutorial. Scroll down to the word None next to DDNS Server and press Enter, then select OpenIDVR and press Enter again. The values needed for the ID, password, and host name fields can be located on the DDNS document included with every DVR. If the document is not available, technical support can provide this information. If the DVR is directly connected to a modem, set the router IP to off. If it is connected to a router, it should be on. Once all settings have been configured, select Check and press Enter. If Check returns fail, check the ID, password, and host name and verify that the network cable and switch, router, or modem have not failed. After DDNS has been configured, the router to which the DVR is connected needs to be configured to forward ports 80 and 2000 to the IP address of the DVR. For further information on this process, please consult the router's manual or contact the router manufacturer's technical support, internet service provider, or OpenEye. You may also visit portforward.com for assistance. As an example, to configure port forwarding on a Linksys router, which is a common brand, first open a web browser on a computer with local access to the router. In the address bar, enter 192.168.1.1, which is the router's default IP address. A login prompt will be displayed. Leave the username blank and enter admin as the password and click OK. Once in the setup menu, click on Applications and Gaming. Enter OpenEye as the application name, set the start and end port to 80, then modify the IP address to match the address shown in network setup on the DVR. Repeat these steps again for port 2000. Click Enable for both entries, then click Save Settings. If multiple DVRs exist on the same network, the ports must be set to a unique value for each DVR. The ports can be changed in client under Network Setup on the DVR. Modified ports should be reflected in the port forwarding settings on the router. Once DDNS and port forwarding have been configured, the DVR will be accessible from any remote site by entering the host name into the address bar of Internet Explorer or the IP address field in Remote Center and Radius. From OpenEye, I'm Nate.